Oh yeah, I almost forgot. I did a uh, silicone job on the steering axle, if you will. We'll see how well it works out. I had to replace the grommet right there, but they didn't make them anymore, so I had to make my own. It looks pretty solid. So we'll see how well it holds up. <clears throat> My steering should be a lot better now. But when I get back, I'll videotape again, piece them together, and uh, we can see how well that worked. But yeah, I had to make my own grommet. So if you have to make your own grommet like that, this is a 92 Dodge Dakota. <clears throat> if you have to make your own grommet, um, <clears throat> I forgot what they're called. Uh, they're like, it's like this little tool that measures by the millimeters. And uh, I want to call it a speckometer, but I don't think that's the right word. And... Uh, it's a micrometer measuring tool. Anyhow. Uh, so I just measured by the micrometer. Uh, the old grommet. And then went around shopping for hoses and I found a hose there's my uh, dash cam not dash cam my trail cam this truck it's I swear now it's not gonna want to start Dodge is it's just hot can't handle the heat it can't handle the heat I need to warm it up before I take off Here we go. Now it'll be fine. So, uh, I forgot the kind of hose I got. But I ended up going with uh, a really high quality, really tough, high tensile strength rubber hose for a grommet. And then we just drilled holes in it where we needed to and it fit. Uh, but it was just a little, little, tiny, tiny bit small. There's that guy again. He's hauling hay somewhere, from somewhere. Anyhow, uh, it was just a hair too small. It fit smooth on the inside, but it was a little small on the outside. So it wasn't perfect. It was almost perfect. And uh, so I helped. But uh, so I put the silicone in there. And it already feels tighter. Still a little loose, but that's normal for Dodge. Uh, but it's not as loose as it was. So, yeah. Uh, we'll see how well the silicone holds up with this drive. I got an hour drive there and an hour drive back. So we'll see how we do. Okay, uh, bye. All right, it might help to push record. Like, I forgot to push record last time. I was over here. I don't think my silicone job worked out. I think it doesn't look like it did anyway. Let's just go. No. Yeah, ow. ooh, it's hot. So that didn't work. It felt like it was working at first, and then it didn't feel like it was working anymore. So I wasted a lot of silicone. <clears throat> I'll have to come up with another idea. But <clears throat> it could be worse. It works. <clears throat> That's what matters. I mean, you know, the job that I did... Uh, works so that's what matters the most so now <clears throat> i gotta fix this thing um uh, oh squirrel uh 
Oh, the sweet potatoes are doing good. Oh, yeah, it was a squirrel. Something came and dug them up before. And, uh... <clears throat> so I reburied it. And it looks like it's doing all right. That is a, um... It's not technically a wicking, um, flower pot. It's, um, but it's something similar to a wicking one. So anyways, one of the reasons why I bought this property is because of this pit. Now you still got a duck to get under here. And I got to clean it out still. But what I'm going to do is maybe put some ramps here so I can drive it up onto ramps. <clears throat> and maybe weld them in. Or <clears throat> some people can't steal them. Well, I'll have a garage door on here for too long, so it won't matter. I don't need that. But George wants to reinvest. George is the one I bought this property from. He wants to reinvest in this property and or the garage. And uh, <clears throat> so, <clears throat> uh, but he wants to buy in. I'm not going to let him buy in, but uh, my lawyer lives across the street. So maybe we can work out a, uh, a deal where we can go joint venture on the garage part of the property <clears throat> to where it's a win-win. But I'm not giving up ownership of the property to anyone. So, um, or even, you know, partial ownership of the property. It's my property. Um, we can work out some sort of deal to where it's a win-win. But anyways, uh, if George does invest then he wants to put in a lift in here <clears throat> so that we can lift the cars up i uh, won't be able to go very high but we got the pit you know we just got to get it high enough off the ground to where we can stand up underneath it so <clears throat> and that being said if i have enough money when i have enough money i'd like to raise the pitch of this raise this roof up and change the pitch to go the other direction facing south and then we could then we could definitely raise it up higher um and have a higher lift in here but that's way down the road um so it may never even happen but if it does happen that's way down the road so anyways that's that now i'm gonna go ahead and do another video for the the property this is just a video for the vehicles and my crappy silicone job on my steering deal. It was a good idea. It just didn't work. So, okay, bye.